Hey everybody, it's Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. Today I'm going to be reviewing the 2020 Clay Shannon, the Barkley Cabernet Sauvignon. It's from Lake County, California. It's 14.5% alcohol by volume, and I paid about $18.5 for it at my local grocery store. Uh, let's take a look at it. All right, from a color standpoint, I'm going to give you a medium ruby, no artifacts, no cloudiness. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty close to being on the deep side, so that's why I had a hard time with it. Uh, on the nose, Medium plus intensity on the nose. So I'm kind of getting an upfront interesting mix of primary and secondary elements. So uh, from the primary side, I'm getting some plum. I'm getting a, like a bit of a, a red currant. Um, there's also like a black cherry note that's going on here. And then on the secondary, I get hit with a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of clove. There's a little bit of vanilla. There's also a note of dark chocolate. So there's, there's this range of primary, there's the secondary. And then uh, the alcohol does, for me, it it presents like, well, I mean, it depends on the nose. <laughs> so that sniff, medium alcohol. That sniff, getting closer to high. I think it's just, I, I'm pretty sensitive to alcohol anyway, but um, this one, depending on how warm it is, it might present closer one way or another. Anyway, how does it taste? So in terms of the body, it's a full-bodied wine. Uh, alcohol does go a little bit on the higher side, so I am going to give it a... I'm going to say that on the palate, the alcohol tastes high. Uh, dry wine, um, medium plus tannins. The tannins are actually a little bit, a little bit gritty. Uh, they're kind of getting grippy on the palate, um, but I mean, they're, they're totally doable. Uh, it is, I would say it's actually a high acid wine. Like this wine has a good amount of acid in it. Palette intensity is medium plus, leaning towards favoring a lot more of the primary elements right now than the secondary. The secondary are there um, if you let the primary kind of go into that finish and let the secondary develop, breathing in a lot, then it, it does present up and it does kind of match the intensity of what you get on the approach with the primary. Uh, it's just the secondary is kind of a, a trailing factor here. Speaking of the finish, it's a medium plus finish, so that's nice. And... I think that might be pretty much it. Yeah, so let's get to the book. From a balance standpoint, full point. I think the wine's in balance. I actually appreciate how much acid there is here with the body and the tannin. This is, I, I really like this as a 2020. Like this, this is pretty good. In terms of length, medium plus finish, 0.75. In terms of intensity, medium plus on the nose, medium plus on the palate, so 0.75. And finally, complexity. I'm getting primary and secondary. Um, I'm not getting any tertiary. I don't expect it. However, though, I am, I am only going to give you, I am only going to give you half a point here. So I feel like there's a little more you could have done on on the secondary. Uh, I, I wish the primary had maybe like another kind of cluster or so in, in there. And also I'm not detecting any sort of mallow um, influence. And I know it was done, it's just I'm not detecting any of those kind of characteristics. So half a point. So when you add everything up, you're a very good wine. So I picked this one because I hadn't had a cab in a while and I was looking around at all these deals that were going on at my grocery store and there was all this stuff from France and all these other places. Um, and to be quite honest, I suck at pronouncing all those regions. So I just bought something that I could pronounce and it turned out to work out for me. So chalk one up there. Anyway, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's review, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Clay Shannon, the Barkley Cabernet Sauvignon? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below and I'll see you all again soon with another review from Wine on the Dime.